I clearly understand that some of us are taking graphic design as a side hustle while some of us are already taking it as a full-time business. I'm a graphic designer that transformed from a freelance graphic designer to a full-time graphic designer. That means I'm now taking graphic design a little bit seriously. I'm taking it like a business, like this is me, this is my life, and this is who I've become. There are things you need to know before you start full-time graphic design, and that's what I want to share from my experience. So I'll start by telling you why I decided to quit freelance graphic design and going full-time, and what you should do before you start full-time graphic design. So one of the first reasons why I decided to quit freelance graphic design and going full-time was creative freedom. So I've been this person that always wants to achieve creative freedom. It would have pained me so much if I came into the design industry and after exploring everything about the design industry and I'll move on to another career path. But I've gone so deep in this design industry that I always want to achieve more in the design industry like this is who i am this is who i've become and i want to be the best i can be in this industry so i always want to achieve this creative freedom that i do what i love and at the end earning from doing what i love it is one thing to discover your potentials and it's another thing to make good use of your potential so i discovered what's good about me i discovered what i love doing and i always want that freedom to do those things that I love doing because this is in me and this is who I've become. Back then in my high school, I never thought of being a graphic designer. In fact, I never knew what graphic design is all about. But ever since I discovered graphic design and I fell in love with it, I always want to be the best I can be. So due to the fact that I wanted to achieve this creative freedom, this was how I decided to quit freelancing, not doing it like a side hustle anymore. It's now a full-time business. So I can just wake up every morning and tell my family I'm going to work. And everyone knows this is my work. This is what I do for a living. And that's it. So the second reason why I decided to quit freelance graphic design was because I had enough passion to push through. My greatest advice would be if you don't have enough passion to go full-time as a graphic designer, then don't even try going full-time as a graphic designer. At the end of the day, you discover that you end up doing what you love and then getting paid from doing what you love. But it's not really about the money because when I started full-time graphic design, I didn't even have in my mind, it, well, it was not in my mindset that all I want is money. So I'm not even looking at the money aspect of it, but I'm looking at the fact that this is what I love doing. So I had enough passion for it. So even in times where business becomes so dull, it's slow, and I don't feel affected by it because I'm doing what I love, and I'm doing this every day. So if you don't have enough passion for it, you better stick to freelance graphic design and be a side hustle freelance graphic designer and the last but not the least why i decided to go full-time as a graphic designer is because i wanted to achieve financial stability so when you're a freelance graphic designer you won't pay much attention to how much revenue comes in and what goes out because you are just doing this like a side hustle if it works it works if it does not work it's okay and you have other career you are actually exploring maybe you are going to school and you aim to be into another career okay that's what happens when you're a freelance graphic designer but when you go full-time you pay much attention to your finances what comes in what goes out and how much revenue you get and what expenses you make and then you'll be able to give account of what happens in your life and how much you have your business can now state your worth and that's how it is if you're a full-time graphic designer. You know, freelance graphic designers don't usually pay much to get things done. But when you go full-time, you discover that you pay a lot, including rent, you pay taxes and a lot of revenues to be paid. But at the end of the day, you'll be able to give account. So I just wanted to achieve this financial stability where I can manage my finances. I can give account of what I make in a day, weekly monthly and yearly and that's how it is at the end of the day you discover that what motivates you the most in any business you find yourself is how much revenue you make that revenue is your motivation so if you achieve a good financial management in your business that's what makes you happy but when you are a freelance graphic designer you don't pay much attention even if it does not work because you feel there are other career paths you are going to pass through and this one is just serving you 
for the meantime. So moving on to the next part of this video where I'm going to tell you what you should do before you go full time as a graphic designer. So the very first thing you will do is to have positive thoughts. And this was what helped me when I started. I understand one fact that you are what you believe. So your life is shaped by what you believe. If you believe things positively, positive things happen in your life. And when you believe things negatively, negative things happen in your life. So this was what happened. Before I started full-time graphic design, I have this thought that, yes, I'm going to make it in this business. And this is the business that is going to... Put food on my table. This is the business that is going to help me push through even to the end of this earth. Like, I don't have any other business. And this business will give birth to many other businesses I would like to embark on. So, you too should have positive thoughts if you want to go full-time. And don't believe that in any way the business is going to break down. Once you have the thoughts that this business is going to break down one day, definitely one day it's going to break down. So believe that as you start up this business, that this business is going to give birth to many other businesses. And by God's grace, I'm pushing through and the business have given birth to two other businesses, which the world is yet to hear about. So have a positive mindset before you start full-time graphic design. The next one on my list is rebranding. So before you start full-time graphic design, just understand that you are no more a freelance graphic designer and you are putting yourself out there to the world. So you have to rebrand yourself. If you are satisfied with your current branding, you can leave it. But if you like to step up your game, you have to rebrand. And that rebranding means you have to work on your logo. You have to work on your brand identities, your brand colors, your brand voice, everything about your brand. And that is what rebranding is all about. And by so doing, you're going to put yourself out there because your brand is you in front of people and what people perceive you to be and how your audience, how your customers, how your clients perceive you to be. Your brand speaks much about you, who you are and your personality. And that is why you have to work more on your branding. So one of the things I did was to get a new logo for my brand and I got a new brand name and I got a new brand color and currently I'm working on this branding consistently. I'm consistent with it and as you can see on my t-shirts, the red and the black and then I love white feel for my brand and sometimes we flow with black feel as well. That's the same branding we do on this office. You can see a uh, table has this red uh colors around it and the white on top of that including my monitor has my brand logo and every other stuff so this office is built with our brand identities and that's what you are going to do also if you are starting full-time graphic design because many businesses will be coming in to connect with you and they like to connect with people that understand what they are doing and they are putting their personality out there perfectly. The next thing you want to do is to get your business registered. One thing you need to understand is that your clients, companies, businesses like to connect with people that are registered. They like to connect with businesses that are registered. The reason being that many companies, businesses, they feel anyone that comes on the internet may be a scammer and they won't like to work with scammers. So the best thing you can do for your business is to get your business registered. When you get your business registered, you are indirectly telling people that you can be trusted and they can work with you. So companies should feel free working with you as you are a trusted person too. And once you are done with that, the next thing you want to do is to get the necessary documents ready. And these documents include your contract, your business plan, business profile, and employment documents. There are other documents you need to put in place and you can do the research for yourself to know every other important document you need to start up your business. These documents are very necessary because they will help you scale through your business. And this is what I did for myself. I got, I got all these documents ready even before I started my business, before I even found a location for my business. And let me make this very clear. It's not necessary to have a dedicated location for your business. You can do this from home. Many people start full-time business from home. So it's not necessary to open up a location for your business. Just flow with whatever you have. Next thing you want to do is to set up your portfolio. And by setting up your portfolio, I don't mean having a social media handle because your social media is definitely not your portfolio. You have to have a dedicated portfolio that your clients can 
go through and see what you are up to and see your previous project and they can connect more with you and your personality. So I'm going to make a dedicated video on how to set up your portfolio. Let me know down in the comments if you like to watch a video like that. Once that is done, you have to set up a good workflow for yourself. Now you don't have to jump into full-time graphic design just like that without even understanding how the workflow for a full-time graphic designer looks like. Okay, so what you're going to do is to set up your time management because this time around you're going to be more busy than before. So you have to be a busy person as a full-time graphic designer and that means majority of your time will be spent on working on different projects. So you have to learn time management. You have to learn a lot of things. You have to learn how to stay consistent. Like you have to be showing up every time. So you don't have to appear once in a while and go back again. You have to put yourself out there as a reliable graphic designer and clients can meet you up at any time. So for that, you have to set up your workflow. There are so many apps that can help you manage your workflow, your time management, you know when and when to do a particular thing and when not to do a particular thing and that's just it. And setting up your dedicated price table is also very important because this stuff makes your workflow very easy. You have to have your invoices and receipts. By the way, I'm going to make a video on how to invoice your client and getting receipts and all this stuff. And then this makes it perfect. And last but not the least, finance management. I want you to understand that when you start full-time graphic design, you have to have separate accounts for your business. The same account you use as your personal account should not be your business account. So you have to open up a new bank account for your business so you can give account of whatever comes in, whatever goes out, what revenue you make and expenses you make. And that would be very cool and nice. Let me know down in the comments whatever thoughts you have about this video. And if you like to learn more graphic design tips, click on this video and start watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So when you're a freelance graphic designer, you won't pay much attention. Uh, <laughs>